10 days left in Germany. I never thought this day would come, man. I never thought this time would go down so fast. And I'm ready to get the fuck. Okay, okay. Okay. Y'all, I think I shipped my belt. Because I can't find my belt anywhere. But what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to go to... I'm about to go clear S4 and then... Yo, these pants are so big on me. I'll look. Let me show y'all. Look at this shit. I don't know where I put my belt. I think I really shipped it. I think I gave it to the house of good people. I don't know. I got my mask. Oh, guess what I found, y'all? My spare key. I found my spare key, and then I have all my um, keys to my tough boxes. Look at how many keys this is, y'all. Like, I got mad shit. Like, and I am gonna sell this light here because I already have a light in Texas, and I don't have that much space to be having a whole studio room right now. So yeah, I got my backpack, y'all, because it keeps it keeps raining, and I don't want my paperwork to get wet. So period. Where my phone at? Alright, y'all. I'ma see y'all when I come back. Cause I can't take y'all in battalion with me. So Y'all think I lost my room key. I definitely lost my room key, y'all. I don't know what the fuck it is. I always I stay losing shit, bro. I look like a little boy, huh? I look like a little boy. Anywho, y'all, I'll see y'all when I get back, okay? Good morning, guys. Let me show y'all the way outside looks right now. Good morning, guys. So, I got my out processing paperwork today. And, I mean, no, I got it yesterday. I'm sorry. And, um, I really hope. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> I got my out processing paperwork today. And I'm very happy because I don't want nobody calling my phone. Don't ask me for nothing. Don't look for me. Don't ask me where I'm at. I'm clearing. And on top of that, I'm clearing without a vehicle. So don't call my phone. And that's on period. I swear my mother like, I really feel bad for whoever calls my phone because I'm not picking up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I thought that when you clear that you're basically untouchable. Like, your place of duty is clearing. Child, mm, I got to get out of here. And the crazy part is, okay, so let me tell y'all. So months ago, I think it was like actually two months ago, um, you know, I went into my labs and then, you know, you guys already know this. I think you guys know this. I had low vitamin D. They prescribed me like a 50,000 milligram uh, vitamin D pill. They told me to take one a week. I didn't even brush my teeth, y'all. I don't care. Um, they prescribed me one a week. So I did that. I've been taking it for a little while and my vitamin D is still low. So I had a subscriber contact me, and this is the same. She's very loyal. Um, she knows who she is. She hit me up, and she was like, um, you know, under your eyes look really dark. Um, is your, do you have low vitamin D? And I was like, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, I, I did, but, you know, I assumed that if I take the medication, I'll be fine. Child, my doctor called me yesterday, called my phone, and told me my vitamin D is still low. And that my hemo is good, like, for surgery and stuff, but my vitamin D is very, like, low. So he prescribed me some stuff I got to take, I think, like, two times a day. I'm like, bro, of course my vitamin D is going to be low. There's no sun. Where is the sun? Let me tell you something. Germany, I can count on my hand how many times I've seen... <clears throat> I can count on my hands how many times I've seen the sun in Germany. Okay, so everybody should have a low vitamin D, not just me. But that makes a lot of sense because, like I told y'all... I've been real, like, depressed. I've been real life. <clears throat> I've been in a down, like, mood. So yesterday, like I told y'all, you know, Columbia is allowing certain surgeries. They're not allowing. Oh. Uh, they're not allowing. <clears throat> they're not allowing all surgeries. They are allowing small surgeries. Like, let me explain to you. Like, let's see if I can find it. I gotta go on my surgery page. 
They are allowing um, small stuff like a rhinoplasty or like nothing like big on the body, whatever. So after they announced that they were going to be allowing, they was going to be allowing surgery, you know what I'm saying? They didn't say the details. So everybody, the whole surgery community getting hype. Everybody like, yes, like, thank God, because we didn't spend all this bread. Like, okay, we really, we just want to go there knock it out, stay in the recovery house. We're not trying to go out there and be in the streets. We're not trying to do no vacation stuff. Like we're not trying to do nothing to impede with y'all COVID, um, regulations and stuff over there we are literally just trying to who the fuck is it we are literally just trying to get what we need to get and get the fuck on like no one wants to be chilling in colombia i damn sure don't so yeah so i guess yesterday they announced that it's not gonna be nothing major and i'm supposed to be leaving i'm supposed to be going to colombia in <sighs> Good morning, everyone. Um, today is... I don't have no clothes on, so I'm trying to hide. Today is January 29th. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I am clearing you guys. If you guys are wondering why the fuck I'm in bed at 10 o'clock on a weekday, I'm clearing. So, oh my God, I got 10 more motherfucking days. I got 10 more days. I need to brush my teeth up, y'all. But good morning. Um, I mean, really, I could do whatever I want today, but I need to clear... Uh, supply and to clear S4 and my leave form got signed y'all 50 days my leave form got signed so I need to um go ahead and get that grab that real quick I'm gonna make about 10 copies of that and then I also need to make more copies of motors so really I was just gonna chill today because the movers are coming on Monday and um I, I have to get this room ready to like this weekend ready in the sense of I want to go through my tough boxes again I want to add some more important stuff in there, like clothes, important clothes. Whatever I don't care about is what I'm going to let the Packers touch. But other than that, they, uh, everything else going in the top box. So, yeah. So, you guys were telling me that you guys really like the quality of this camera. That's really good. Ooh, my hair, child. But, yeah, I love the quality of this camera. I'm actually really starting to like this camera more than my... Um, you know what? You guys keep asking me what camera I use. I'm going to tell you all right now. I don't have no clothes on, child. More than my Sony Alpha 6400. This is my other... This is the camera that I use for all my videos. Okay, y'all? It's the Sony Alpha 6400. I'll leave the link down below. And then I also have the 4-10... 4-10-18mm lens. But yeah, I need to get up and get ready for the day. That's really all I gotta do today is... Um, I'm gonna get up and clear. Let me, let me not be lazy. Y'all... I love this new camera. I really do. First of all, let me make sure I don't drop nothing. First of all, I got a whole Chanel bag I need to show y'all. Well, it's not Chanel. It's Pinnell. But y'all get it. Oh, Lord. Don't let me drop this shit, please. God. <laughs> okay, y'all. So for the first tough box, I have my wig stand. Um, a subby painted me this. I have some um, stuff that... What the fuck is in this? I got some important stuff that I wrapped. What is this? Is this my... I think... Yeah, this is my degree, but I wrapped it. So, because it's glass, I don't want it to break. I have an empty snicker box in here. I just really got, like, stuff. Like, random ass. Just random. I was looking for that hat, too, y'all. So, and this one... This is where all my expensive stuff is, really. This is my favorite tough box right here. So I have my, I'll be honest, y'all, I threw away the boxes, y'all. I threw away the boxes because I just don't, I just threw away the boxes. I ain't want to carry all them fucking boxes. I don't know. I threw them away. I threw away the majority of my boxes. But yeah, I got some home decor stuff. If you guys have probably seen this, I got some awards and stuff in here. Because I don't know, I literally just packed this shit for nothing. Like, I don't even know what was the point of me. Y'all, so these are all my candles. I thought I had way more, but I don't. So, I'm going to show y'all real quick. So, this is my aromatherapy. Stress relief. I'm not done with that. Oh, Lord. Did y'all hear that? This is my favorite candle in the whole wide world, you guys. It's Key Lime Pie. And I cannot find this scent anymore, but I love it so much, like, Look at I'm damn near at the bottom and I cannot like throw this away. It smells so good. Like, oh my, like literally, y'all, this candle is the only candle I've ever burnt 
in my life where people came from down the hallway and told me like, yo, what is that? So this is so good, you guys. If you guys find this candle, y'all, please buy it and please smell it. It smells so good. Then I have, oh, this one's damn near done. Peach Bellini. This one is like a corner. All the ones that are like corners, I'm going to um burn before I leave, obviously. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like oh my, all good all day. But the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay happy? I'd rather be on that way. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you wanna go insane, either way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'ma follow like, you. Calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail A separate ways ain't gon' Y'all know I love my Apple TV And that's on period I haven't decided y'all if I'm gonna get cable or not Ooh. I haven't decided if I'm gonna get cable or not So y'all let me know But I'm gonna go to It's a, a dance hall artist that I really like I'm putting y'all on Her name is Chanel Muir if you know who she is, comment down below. But I really love her music, so I'm going to go to her radio. It's probably it probably should still be up there. Maybe my Wi-Fi cut off, you guys, because I definitely cut off my Wi-Fi and my phone bill, and it hasn't cut off yet. But I know eventually it will. But. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to go pick up some stuff because I need bubble wrap and I need a container for my jewelry and I don't have any toilet wipes left or toilet paper. So I showed you guys the toilet wipes in my last video. My, um, look, I look so ugly. My favorites of 2020. So it's raining, y'all. Let me show y'all. It's raining. Told you you so extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. When it pop off, it's like oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going. Y'all, so I came here for some bubble wrap. Damn. Ooh, it's nine feet, and they only have three left. Four left. And I think it's a dollar. I think it's a dollar seventy-five. I don't know. But I'm gonna get all four because I really need it. And then I also need duct tape. Whoa, this is too much. What the hell? This is a lot, y'all. Four. Storage. This is three sixty-five. Or I could get. One of these for two forty-five. I can get this amount. I'm gonna get a big one. Hmm. I'm gonna get the big one. Quentin. Yeah, I don't know where he went, but I need some help. I 
got the last four. One, two, three, four. And I also got tape. Right, let's see what else I need. I got this shit no more. Yeah, they got these cute Uggs. But all they got is a size 9. And I'm a size 8, so. Y'all, look what I found. Planting chips. And then I also got some asparagus. Y'all, I love asparagus now. Like, what is that? Come on, Fox. Come, I don't know what that is, but y'all, I love asparagus now. Like, y'all would be so proud of me. Like, I this shit be buzzing though. what's that? Brandon oh, I never had. Do you want to try it? I do want to slightly try it. You know how to eat it? Yeah, you cut it open and eat the inside of it. All right, grab it. We could try it. Let's oh. try one. Six dollars. It's exotic. I don't even tell you I'm gonna pay six dollars for uh, this, y'all. Oh lord. This is crazy. Y'all don't say I ain't put y'all on to this, okay? So I used to drink these. They, they're meal replacements. I used to drink them and it helped me lose weight. The small amount of time that I was eating healthy. But that's what it looks like, so. I'm gonna get one. Yeah, and y'all know, Q's my ride, cause I ain't got no vehicle. Y'all, look how much this oxtail costs. $29, y'all. For some oxtail. Like that, like that. You have a little motherfucker like that, like that. Oh, you see that shit? Mm. Y'all, how the fuck? I, we don't even know how to cut it. We don't know. Split that bitch down the middle. No, we gotta search it on YouTube. You do have to split it down the middle so you can see the inside. Be careful. Oh my god, it's gonna look like little roaches. Little what? Corvette, Corvette. Hop in that motherfucking jet like that. This look like low, low ants. This looks like when I was growing up, my mom used to give me um food. I said, like, Mom, is this a spice or is this a roach? That's what I used to say. Wait, that's how you eat it? Yeah. Hold on, wait, let me try it right. Let me try it right. Let me try it right. <laughs> I'm scared. You sure I'm supposed to eat the seeds? Yeah, I am. Hmm? <laughs> Just, hmm? Hold on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They have no taste. It has no taste. What you think? I don't feel like that. You know, yeah, it don't have no taste. I thought it'd be sweet. I, it was a different texture though. I was like, uh, this tastes like a. Uh, I don't like the texture. I really thought it'd be sweet. It's not bad though. Wanna keep eating? No. Okay. I think we should keep eating it because it was six dollars. So. Eat away, buddy. <laughs> Motherfucker, I can cash it for six dollars <laughs> if that's the case. Son. <laughs> hey guys. That's so it? today is Sunday, and why are you so close? You were close. Yeah, it's cute behind the camera, but today's Sunday, and I have to pack up all my wigs. I'm gonna just put them in the trash bag and put them. Like, look at this nice wig, y'all. Can you see how nice it is? Gotta pack up all my wigs. Come over here, come check out the wig collection. Yo, these are where I put all my wigs, my expensive wigs. Okay, we got this one, what's this one? Hold on, oh shit. We got this one, y'all see, y'all see? All of them are like transparent, very good quality. Good quality. And then I got this one, y'all seen this one before? Let me show y'all. Just good quality wigs and yeah, my wigs are expensive. I'll be paying a lot. This wig, I don't want this wig. So if you, one of y'all want to buy this wig off of me, one hundred dollars. It's the same. I wore it in Budapest in my Budapest vlog, but yeah, I don't really. I don't. I'm be honest. I don't really like this wig. So, yep. If anyone wants to buy it, and then lastly, I have my bob. Y'all see the quality? Nice, nice. Oh, I have another bob I want to show you guys. It's called my Edna. They look like her too. Do y'all like this wig? They don't like it. I, I could read their minds. Do y'all know much? Do y'all know how much money is in this bag right now? At least.
Oh. At least 2000 No, hell no. Let me see how much money is in this. This is about $3,000 worth. 2000 2000 $2,500 like of wigs. Oh. That's it. All right, Jasmine needs help with ta -da, this. Uh, it's to, not too bad compared to last week. That is terrible. Um, to get this stuff out of here. <sighs> so, task is she needs to wash this BS because she don't know what's <laughs> clean and what's dirty. Just the stuff in the white, you guys. Like the white, the three white bins is not that much stuff. Yeah. Okay. Everything hanging up. All these shoes. It's not that much. I've sold a lot of shoes, but this stuff, I don't know. It's time to start. You ready? It's go time. So extra, but I know I'm the same. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like oh my, all good. So y'all, what we about to do is we about to grab all the dirty clothes. Well, I think they're dirty, but he think they clean. But go see some shit stain. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. So we're gonna put all the clothes on the bed, and then we're gonna see what's what I want to take with me and what I don't want to take with me and then whatever is dirty I'm just gonna I'm gonna clean it and then I don't know I guess that's it if we on a rise out of passion we could share love in the ocean but if you want to go insane either way baby we could go all night we could do it all night we could go all night all night do we heal do we bleed I'm gonna fall like yo leave but we could go all night all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail Our separate ways ain't gon' end well No But when we get back, it's like, oh my All bad all day, but the night I Get that good, good till we act right So tell me where we on the day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too You'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave Y'all, 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 y'all So he found this dress in my closet It's a Michael Kors dress Um, A subby sent it to me And he was like, it's still got the tag on it And I was like, this is how you want your girl to dress Because he always be complaining about women that dress too revealing and stuff Yeah, you gotta be covered up you can show your curves, but not show your curves. But that's, yeah, that's new, so we're not gonna. Nerves, and knowing your intention, I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless. Long as you know, I come with imperfections. When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh. You something special. Know you looking bomb the way you dressing, gone flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest. You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation. You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather. We fight retreating, then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle. When nobody's stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it. I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure. Yo. Feel like you said it. I did even finish filming and he dragged me outside. Anywho, I'm about to, well, we're going to my old building. I don't even know if I can show you to show it to y'all, but we're going to my old building. I'm going to my storage closet in there and see if we can grab the TA-50 and my computer uh, box. We'll see. Let me show y'all. Can you wait for me? Are you cheating? Because I go step by step, but he skips it. That's cheating. He's cheating, y'all. Let me see. All right, y'all. This is what the storage looks like in the barracks and bomb holder. But y'all know my bougie ass. No, that's my camera. I 
think there's a lot of stuff in here. And as y'all can see, the storage room goes all the way down there. Damn! Look at all this shit, y'all. It's really not that bad. All right, y'all, it's all empty. Empty for the next soldier. <laughs> Cause I'm out this bitch. Bye. Y'all. I'm trying to figure out the shit I left in here. Y'all, my head look big as shit. What you forgot? I'm going right down there. Oh, the pots is in the thing. All right. Court day, court day. I'm finna motherfucking drill like that. It's not drill like that, it's you drill like that. I don't know what type of Corvette y'all be driving. Anyways, y'all, now that I'm moving my stuff, I feel way more, it's a little cold. Now that I'm moving my stuff, I feel way more excited. I feel like I'm really leaving. I'm happy. You see this weather? Mm, not, mm, I got like what? As of today, I have 10 days. 10 days left in Germany. I never thought this day would come, man. I never thought this time would go down. And I'm ready to get the fuck. The fuck. I'm ready to get the fuck. Y'all don't even understand, but. But that's it really for tonight. I got a Brittany's boxes up there. The movers will be up there tomorrow. The movers will be up. Yeah, the movies will be here tomorrow, and then what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Who the fuck is staring at me, bro? What? Y'all, people really be staring. I wish y'all could understand. Like, as much as people, as much as amount of people that watch YouTube, the amount of people that be looking is just weird as fuck. Like, but um, excited. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to see my mama. But y'all, literally, out of everyone that I'm cool with. Q is the only person that has offered to help me, like, help me move my shit. He just literally helps me in any way, every way possible that I need a person to help me. He literally helps me. That's just cold crazy to me, like. Good morning, so guys. Crazy. It is... It's February 1st, 11.43, y'all. So let me tell y'all how my day went. I don't care if I wore this outfit tomorrow. I mean, yesterday. I don't really care. So, let's talk. So, as y'all know... <clears throat> okay, that's not gonna work. Okay. So, you guys, as y'all know... I leave in... Because today's the first, I leave in 10 days. Period. I'm so happy. Um. This morning my so i have a co-worker i never really told you guys about him it's because there's so many people to tell y'all about that i just rather just not tell y'all because y'all not gonna remember them anyway if they're not on the vlog so i got this co-worker and he is really like a big brother to me and stuff so he got me a plaque well him and the rest of my um, so i promised myself i wouldn't cry but y'all know me i cry a lot i don't be cry i don't cry for no reason but I cry if it involves my friends or my family. Like, if I really love you and it's something to do with you, I will cry. But if I really don't care about you, then I'm just going to look at you like. First of all, I'm wait still waiting on the movers, you guys. I'm up. I'm still waiting on the movers. I didn't go to bed till like, 3. What was I watching last? 90 Day Fiance. That's a whole nother. We got to talk about that. So, I got this plaque. It's so nice. Washington said he, he picked the words on it. It's so nice. Y'all, I got an American flag. It got um, a German flag. It has this, the Germany map. And then it has the order. No, this is my signal. I said signal. This is my unit patch. And then this is the ordinance. And then the word says, thank you for everything you've done for us professionally and personally. To our one-of-a-kind soldier, leader, and friend, Jasmine Prophet, a.k.a. the Army Barbie. I'm so dead. But this was so sweet, you guys. Like, I never got a plaque before. If I didn't tell you guys. My last unit, I left. I didn't say goodbye to my NCO. I didn't say goodbye. I said goodbye to my closest friend. And she took me to the, um, 
well, I can't even say the airport because I missed my flight. I had to take a Greyhound. But she took me to the Greyhound spot and then I hugged her and then that was it. I didn't say goodbye to anyone at Fort Campbell. Anybody. So, can't nobody really say that we was ever friends or nothing like that. Like, if y'all get what I'm saying. I don't know. I can't I'm wrong. Not can't nobody say we was ever friends, but I really didn't. The person that I out fucked with, uh, my old roommate, really, really heavy. But then we had a falling out and then... After I had PCS, that's when we, you know what I'm saying, started talking and said when we got back cool. But at that time when I was leaving, I wasn't really cool with much people. So um, I did say bye to Harris, my homegirl, that's my homegirl, um, Harris. And then I said goodbye to Evans. I didn't say goodbye to anybody else because I didn't have anybody else. You know what I'm saying? But here, it's so emotional because I have so many people I got. Um, let me get a list of people like that. I got Brown, I got Fuller, I got Washington, I got um, my new Haitian homegirl, I got, oh, I can't say his name, child, because Hulu, I can't say his name. I got Abdallah, I got um, my other little homeboy, I got Etch, I got um, Alvarez, I got so many people, like, I can't even name the amount of people that I have here. So this time leaving, it was very emotional for me because I'm just like, I'm going to miss you guys. Like, that's the thing, I'm really going to miss these people. I got Ross, I got... I have Cruz, I have Kevin, I have Dory, like so many people love me here and it's just so crazy. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you my flag real quick while I wait on the moon. extra just a quick update so bitch i'm out <laughs> so i finaled out um today <clears throat> excuse me what the fuck i finaled out today and then um that's it i'm basically done i did go to the at not the atm i did go to the bank and take out some money because i have to pay cash for my surgery tomorrow i've never had this much cash on me in my life so it's kind of like making my nerves go bad, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so real quick. Yeah, so this is the last time I'm going to be in my uniform for about a couple days, a couple, a lot of days, honestly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm about to pack up my uniform and my PTs and put them in a box. And then I'm going to have Q send that to me, um, send it to Tasia's address while I'm um, where I'm going. But yeah, actually, let me just close out the vlog here. I love y'all. Germany was a journey. I don't got nothing to say about that, but yeah, I love y'all. And I will see y'all in my next vlog, which is going to be my surgery vlog. So.